Kevin Nunley with Networks Basketball. Welcome to the to the coaching clinic. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've been in here to get this thing done, but we've had a lot of uh, personal coaching that we've been doing outside uh, over the last couple weeks with it being real nice weather. Today we got a rainy day here in Raleigh, and I wanted to get back to the board and get to our motion offense. I love teaching motion offense because it's teaching players how to play offense because it's all about reading your defender and making the right decision. So again, we're going to work on something today that gives our players the decision of what they see on the basketball floor. Motion, okay, motion is a bunch of different things today, all right? First of all, we start off with just cutting, okay? We've got a couple cuts here. One is when we're facing the basket, all right? And, and now we're going to read our defender. Everything we do today is reading the defender. I tell players all the time, if you have a basketball IQ of motion offense, no matter what the defense does, they're going to be wrong. We can beat it. So we start out here with a cutter. We got a coach here. Balls in, the, balls in their hand. We make the pass to the coach. We put a cone right in front of the, of the offensive player. Okay, that's signifying that the defense is staying between them and the basket. Now, when we make a pass, our first thing we want to do is take a step back. Okay, we don't want to be too quick because we want to be able to read our defender. Our defender decides to stay right in front of us. So we're going to make what we call a face cut. We're going to take one step away and then cut across their face to the basket. Okay, it's very vital. Take one set up, set them up. Take one step away, cut across their face. Coach, we hit them for the pass, and they get to a score. Okay, so this is working on our face cuts. Again, the defender stays between me and the basket. Anytime a defender stays between me and the basket, I can do a face cut. Then we're just going to simply move the cone. All right, so now the defense does their job. On the pass, okay, the defense jumps to the ball. So we're going to put the cone between, between the ball and us and our cutter. Now our cutter wants to step right toward the defender. Okay, like he's trying to come and get the ball here. Steps right toward the defender and then back door cuts. Okay, that's our back door cut. Okay, so if the defender does what they're supposed to do, which is jump to the ball and get toward into that help defense, we're going to step at them and then back door cut them. So anytime we pass the ball on offense, we have the opportunity to read, okay, our defender and make some sort of cut. Either a face cut across their face or a back door cut. Okay, another cut that we can do with the defense but playing between, okay, jumping to the ball, is a flare cut. We can actually step into our defender and then backpedal away from them. And then we throw this pass, overhead pass over the top. So we've got those three cuts that we can be working on in our motion. Okay, so if I wanted to play five out motion, no, no, no post player, we play five out, we can just play pass and cut. Okay. Now, so the next thing we can do is, is we're reading what we call an early attack cut. It's a cut in which we, we, there is space in between us and we are running. The ball coach has the ball here or another player has the ball there. We're making this run. Okay, we call that an early attack cut where we're running toward the ball. Okay, and from that, Okay, we got early attack, inside pivot, catch and shoot, step back, catch and shoot, jump stop, catch and shoot. Then we got inside pivot where the defender is behind us. We're reading our defender. They're, behind, they're trailing us. So on this cut, we're going to roll right to the basket. Okay. So that's called an early attack roll, roll move, where we're on this run, the defender's behind us, and on this catch, 
we're just going to pivot and roll immediately into a dribble into a scoring opportunity. If they play even or a little bit ahead of us, okay, on this catch, and they're even or a little bit ahead, we're going to catch that thing on any pivot we want to do, whether it's an inside or a step back or, or a jump stop. We want to rip that ball across and get into that area. They get a little bit ahead of us. I'm making this run. I'm making this run here, and you're a little bit ahead of me. I'm going to catch that thing, rip it straight across, and I'm going to attack you back the other direction. So that's our early attack cut. So those are our three cuts. Now, very simply when we talk about screening, okay, is it's all about where you're looking. Okay, if I'm out, so I'm on the perimeter, okay, I'm on the perimeter somewhere, then my look is down, okay, down toward the rim. Okay, so if I'm out, I look down. If I'm down, I look out. So if I'm down in this area, okay, I'm down in here somewhere, now my vision is out. And if I see somebody, then now we can execute some sort of screen. Okay, so if I'm out, I look down, and if I'm down, I look out. Okay, if you want to say, if I'm out, I look in, and if I'm in, I look out. However you want the terminology to go. Okay, so now on our screening, on our down screens, okay, so we're here, and we decide to go down and screen there. We've got somebody below us, so we're going to go down and set the screen. Okay, so when we go down and set this screen here, we want to set all these screens off the lane, about a foot or two off the lane, and we want to keep the screens, okay, above that far, hash or above, because we want the ability to have space to attack. Because off a down screen, okay, we can run a curl, which runs us to the basket. We can run a back door. Okay, off of it. And if we've got everything mashed into this paint, we don't have any room to execute those cuts. So we want to be, we want to be a foot or two off the lane, and then we want to be above the first hash. So we want our down screens to happen there. So from there, okay, so you can simply take some floor tape or whatever early in your practices in the season and just put a dot, just put dotted line there, okay, and a dotted line here. Okay, so it tells your players where you want screens to be set. All right, now off our back, off our down screens, so off our down screens here, Okay, and we got to talk twice. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm down screen, I'm down screen. And I'll use my voice, and we raise a fist. Okay, hey, so they see it, and they hear it. This guy has to set his man up, so he's got to step down away from the screen. We've got our screener coming down to set it. Now, as we come off, as we start to make this move off the down screen, we want to put our chin on our inside shoulder. We don't want to be staring at the ball, okay? I want my chin on my inside shoulder because, again, your defender is going to tell them how to get open. Their defender is what's going to tell them how to get open. The ball's not telling them how to get open. It's their defender. So they want to be looking to the inside. They want to be looking at their defender so they know where their defender is when the screen happens. Okay, same thing with our screener. Our screener wants to be reading his man. Because we may get in a situation where we get to slip it. Okay, we may come down here to run this down screen, and his man is above him. So before we even set the screen, this guy's coming. Boy, he just slips it, boom. 
He's already open. So he needs to put his chin on his inside shoulder, on his shoulder, looking at his defender to find out where, where they are. Now, as we come off this screen, if we see the defender is going to run into the screen, we want to run what's called a straight cut. And we're going to go shoulder to shoulder right off that cut. We can't give any space. Okay, that cut's got to be shoulder to shoulder off that screen and we run a straight cut. If we see that our defender is going to run into the screen. Now our screener for us can do one of two things. Okay? If they catch their man up here, then they can screen and slip. If we're a post player, okay, we're a post player setting that, setting that down screen, so we set it, they straight cut it off, then we are looking to get into our man, okay, and, and post up. So we want them to reverse pivot, step, screen it, his man is right there, so we want to step across and open up. So I'm going to set that screen on that down, he comes out. My man's above, okay, I'm going to change the footwork right here. My man's above me, my man is to the camera, then I'm just going to reverse pivot and open up and look for the ball. Okay, so it's just going to be a simple reverse pivot here. And then step into their man and hold them. So off this down screen, we can either slip it off a down screen straight cut, we can slip it or reverse pivot and post up. So, if I'm breaking this down, I'm going to have I'm going to have the cutters on one end, the screeners on another end. So, I'm going to have the screeners here, coach there. Okay, screeners throwing. Throwing, taking their step back to read the defense. And now they're going down and setting that screen where we want them to set it. Okay. This side of the floor is going to screen and slip. This side of the floor is going to screen and post. On this end of the floor, I've got a couple of cones set up. That's our screener's feet. Our cutter steps here, steps in. And then straight cuts off. And I got the same thing on this side. This side I'll shoot it. This side I'll shot fake one hard dribble and shoot it. So I got two different shots going on. Okay. Or players. And I want these guys, I want everybody rotating all the way through because they may be the down screener. So that's the way I've set up my down screen. That's the way I'm going to set up all of our down screen stuff. And I've got both actions going on off our down screen. Okay. So after we now we've done straight cut. Okay. Next one, curl. So now we catch the defender behind us. We catch the defender trailing us. So we set the screen here. We set them up. As we're coming off, we notice our, our defender is behind us. We want to hit that shoulder and curl tight around him. Curl cut. Screener. Okay, and, and it, the deal is this. Screener goes opposite the cutter. Okay, that's the simplest way you can say it to people. Screener goes opposite the cutter. So now the screener is going to set this screen on the curl. They're going to curl off. I'm going to reverse pivot off my baseline foot and step out. Okay, so I'm going to reverse pivot and step out. So, so that's our curl. 
So on this end of the floor, I right, set them up. Here's our cones, 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 and I'm coming off that curl. Now, when you do this, you're going to have to alternate so they don't run into each other. Okay, so we're running our curls on this end. All right, we got our screener here. Pass, step back, screen, step back, screen, then open up, reverse pivot off that baseline foot, and step out for our jump shot. So now we've worked our curls. Next one, flare. And this is one that the majority of you, if you got your kids reading screens, this is the more majority of what they're going to see because everybody wants to go through the alleyway, okay, defensively. Okay. So we come down and set that screen there. They're reading, coming off. Their man is going to shoot the gap. Okay. I want our cutter to get to the shoulder and then back pedal, flare. Now our screeners got to go, they got to be thinking, screen, screen, step to the ball. That's got to be their thought process. Screen, screen, step to the ball. So if I'm setting this screen for a flare and they start to, they start to flare away from me, I'm going to do an inside pivot there's my second screen, and then I step to the ball. So again, I screen, screen, and step to the ball. Okay? So again, screen, and then turn and screen again, because he's going to try to run through there, and then step to the ball. Okay? If I can, now that's one. Okay, so on this end of the floor, our cutters, there's our cones and screeners, come to the cone, flare off. Okay, come to the cone, flare off. Catch and shoot this side, catch shot fake, catch shot fake one hard dribble on the other side. Our screeners, Okay, on this side of the floor, and again, we're going to flip them as we do it. Okay, we're going to set that screen. So we're going to go to the screen, screen, step to the ball. Screen, screen, step to the ball. Now on this side, we're going to set it. Okay, we now, and we catch this flare. And we catch our guy, we catch our guy, our guy up above, and we're going to slip. So we, on this side, we got screen, screen, step to the ball. On this side, we got screen it, slip it. So we got both actions going. Then the next one, okay, and this is why we want to get the thing off the baseline. All right, so here comes our cutter. Their guy has gotten above them, has beaten them to the screen. Anytime they be beat us to the screen, either on the low side, trying to squeeze us off the screen, or the high side, if they get above us, we backdoor. So we go back cut off the down screen. So if I'm cutting this and I catch my man either on my side well, the ball side gets ahead of me, I'm cutting right back to the rim. That's why you got to have that thing off the baseline. And on a back door, we treat that like a curl. Our screener treats that like a curl. Okay? They reverse pivot and step out. So now we got the same thing in our breakdown drill.
here, goes down, sets it, slips it. Or I'm sorry, my bad. Yeah, we're going back door. Okay, a man goes down, okay, sets it, reverse pivots, steps out. Catch and shoot. Then on our other end of the floor, okay, oops, coach, here, screen, set them up, get here, and then back door. And again, this is one you'll have to flip-flop, okay. You can either flip-flop it or one side can be driving to the rim off of that and shoot a layup. The other side, when they go back door and, make, and we make that pass, they've got to catch the ball on a jump stop and shoot a floater. So we can shoot it at the rim here, jump stop, and floater there. So all the options off this simple down screen. Look at our cutters. Straight. Curl, flare, back door. Okay. Now our back screens are less complicated. Okay, so we're here, coach here, boom. So we go out to set that, so they, they pass it. We're coming out, same thing. I got you, back screen, back screen. Okay, so we back screen, come out, set that back screen. If the defender's between me and the ball, I take them toward the ball one step, come off that back screen there. Okay, if they're even with the ball or a little bit below me, I'm going to take them one down and come off here. Screener does the same thing every time, steps out. Remember, okay, screener always goes opposite the cutter. Well, the cutter on both of these are headed to the basket, so which means they would screen and step out. Now, you can run a flare off of this, off a of back screen. Okay. So we're setting it here. His man's there. He steps to him. As he steps to him, you're going to revert. You're going to front pivot there. And now we run it there. So again, if I come out and set the back screen, okay, I'm setting the back screen here. I'm setting it. The man is toward the camera, and I catch them really to the man. I will front pivot, and now we can set a flare screen off a of back screen. Okay, and that's our three cuts off the back screen. Okay. Now, one screening that I've really enjoyed getting to study over the last year or so is what we call a high flare. It's something that Texas Tech runs a lot of, and it really flows with our fast break stuff that we've gotten in earlier. Okay, and it's this screen right here. Okay. Steps to the ball hard, and here he comes. And we come off. Okay. Something you don't see a lot of, uh, but I really, really like it because, A, it keeps everything off the baseline. Okay. A lot of things can happen up here. Okay. Again, we have multiple cuts off of this. All right. So, Steps to the ball, here it comes. Well, if their defender runs into the screen, we run that, run that straight. If our defender gets up in here and tries to, tries to choke us off here, push us off the screen, we can run a curl. Then, 
if they try to go under, which a lot of people try to do, which a lot of people try to do on this, is they go under it. As he goes, they go under, front pivot, and hide right behind the screen. We actually call that a flare cut off the flare. Now our screener, okay, again, opposite to cutter. All right. There, now, he can do one of two things depending on how his man's playing him. If his man slides off and tries to help, we want to slip it. If his man plays even or a little bit right in there, okay, then we're going we're gonna to pop. So you really want to work these guys hard, okay? And what we do in all of our screening is this is... This is really the foundational drill work we do. Is we'll put a guy with a ball here. Okay. So off of this, and we can do this off our down screens and back screens too, and I'll show you in just a second. Okay, off of our high flare, okay, he makes the pass here. So he steps to the ball hard. This guy's stepping in to set the high flare. So we're going to go high flare, straight cut, slip. Come off the straight, he throws an overhead pass to this guy for him to shoot. Our screener slips it, and he throws that pass. So now both guys get to shoot it, and we're running both things. Okay. Then we can do this. Okay, so let's say we're going to curl off of it. So we set the high flare, he steps to the ball. He comes here, he curls. Now this guy would throw to him, and he's going to pop, curl and pop, and this guy will throw to the pop. Okay, and if we're going to flare the flare, step to the ball, here, Okay, step to the ball here. He starts to go. Guy goes underneath. We turn and set that screen. He steps back. We throw there. Then he slips it. We go there. And then, like I said, we can run that. Ball's there, steps back, here comes our down screen, down screen, okay, we go down screen, straight cut, we'll go down screen, straight cut to the slip, so he throws it there, okay, all right, he's throwing it there, we slip it, he throws it there. If we want to post him up, off the down screen, I'm going to post him up. We're going to move that other passer now. We're going to put that other passer here. So run it. Okay. He comes off. He throws to him for the shot. He post up. We throw it into him for the post up. So I just move our, we just move our other passer. And I can run every bit, of, I can run every cut I want to run off of this with this simple little thing. Go down. Now we're going to curl it. So he'll hit the curl. He hits the pop. So that, that way we got four guys involved working on our passing. Working on all of our motion offense. Okay. Now, after I've done all that and I've done a lot of work on it and reading and getting them to read and all that, then now, okay, this is something that uh, a lot of coaches used to do. It's called three on three, one side. Well, I tell you what, let's go two on two, one side with, with an open passer. 
Okay, so you got an open passer here. I can only use that side of the floor. So we start out with a guy here and a guy here, and they're playing two on two. Okay, they're playing two on two. This guy can make a pass. Now we're reading where the defense is. Okay, and from here, we can go down down screen. We can back screen. He can clear out to there. Now this guy's got a cut to the basket. Now he's got early attack, which now we're set up. We're still looking. Now we can down screen. Now we can back screen off of that. So all the options that we've gone over so far is what they can do in this two-on-two -two scenario. Two-on-two -two with an open passer only using half the court. Then when you really get, really get pretty good at at least running that, here's what you want to do. This is something we do with all the teams that come, that we work out with Teamworks. And man, you talk about jacking your team up. So we got two on two on this side with an open passer. Okay, these cats are waiting. Okay, he's got a ball and we're two here. As soon as, and as a coach, as the main coach or head coach or whatever, I'm usually standing right there. These guys are playing. May basket, steal, anything else. And then, and then once we get good enough, I'll do it if they don't read correctly. Okay, meaning if we come down here and set this down screen and he's being trailed and he runs a straight cut, it's over. Bad read, move on. When I whistle and then I'll yell next side, well, next side's going immediately. These guys are rotating. Okay, whoever's coming in, they're rotating and these guys are playing. And if I whistle and say done before they can get a shot or whatever, bad read, you're out. Next side's going. It is a fast-paced thing. If these guys play over here and they make a bad read and I yell done, next side, and these guys aren't ready, I'll go right back to this side. Okay, because we've got to get them thinking fast, moving fast, getting ready, all that kind of stuff. So down here, I'm judging how they're, if, are they reading correctly? Okay, if they are, I'm letting them play. Then do we get a score? Do we get a turnover? And, and it's a one-shot deal. You get one shot, there's no rebounding. Because we got too many people standing around, or we got too many people around, we want to get it turned over. Because it's really about, our offensive reading, reacting, making a great decision. And then I can start these guys wherever I want to start them. I don't have to start them traditionally. Okay, if I wanted to, okay, I could come down, start a guy here, start a guy there. Okay, if I really wanted to start out emphasizing my high flare stuff, now I'd start a guy there, player here, boom, and here we go. That's what we're looking to do first. Then that lends ourselves, so I could have this going on on one end, and then on this end of the floor, I got three on three going. And again, don't let them just set up like this. Okay, we, we, we can, but if we get caught in a pattern, okay, and notice, I have not taught this, this screen. Okay, now that's run same as a down screen. We call that a wide down screen. It's the same thing. I just think you're much more effective. As, as I've watched it, I think that's much more effective. But these guys can start anywhere. So if I've got three on three going on this end, okay, we can start like that. I can actually start on one side of the floor. I got a guy at the point, I got a guy at the slot, and I got a guy in the corner. We can start like that.
then I want to build myself up, okay? Then I'm going to build myself up four on four to five on five. Then I'm going to go, if you, if you look at your fast break system and you want to start running motion, then we're going to go fast break into motion. So I'll start with that. Okay, I'll start our defense is already back. Okay, so they're picking up, and here we are in our fast break look trailer. Okay, so the defense is already back here. So they're back, ready to go. But we're in our fast break slots, running into our motion. If I don't have a secondary, or I change it up and go, well, let's get out of our secondary for a little bit, we'll go fast break into motion. And now we're fast breaking. We're in our fast break system, but we're into motion. As you can tell right now, this just lends itself right now to this. He's reading his man. Do I have a cut? Here comes this high flare here, and now we're, we're rolling. And notice, I'm keeping everything. By these high flares, this is what I really love. By these high flares getting set, I'm keeping everything off the baseline. So I'm giving a space. I'm making space where we can drive it, do a bunch of stuff out of it. So I'll go two on two one side to three on three to four on four, then to five on five, and I'm doing all my five on five out of our break. Because no matter if it's a dead ball, okay, you can put a dead ball anywhere. Say it's a dead ball, and this is our basket down here, and the defense is down here waiting on us. Okay, well, I can throw it in at our point guard. He walks it up, and we're into our break. Okay, and our break flows right into our motion. Okay, again, I like to just keep hitting the defense. He keep hitting the defense. Keep hitting them. Well, this is the way we, get, we just keep hitting them. The next thing you want to incorporate in your motion is called is called shallow cuts. All right, they're real, real effective. Okay, so we're here. All right, we shallow cut him, and when we shallow cut him, the dribbler is going to replace this guy. So it's a point to wing shallow cut. He runs to the elbow and then up. So it is a ninety degree. Okay, he can't loop this thing. He's got to drive his guy to the elbow and up. And we do that as a pressure release. Okay, so now I've hit him, and if there's somebody down here, okay, I can hit him, read. If there's nobody below me, I can work one of my cuts. If there is somebody below me, then we can work back or down here. And that's what I'm saying out, out of our, if you look at our break, okay, I could be running a shallow here, and they're running the high flare here. Look what that's done to the baseline. We've now eliminated all defenders, and now we got our best ball handler, okay, with this whole side of the floor freed up. So that's a that's a that's a shallow cut that we can run there. So anytime you can do a shallow cut anywhere, it's just a replacement. I can shallow cut here. And as that's going on, as the ball gets here, here's a down or a back screen happening over there. Okay, I can run this shallow cut guy here, bring him up through the elbow, and then immediately flare cut him there. High flare for him.
Then the next shallow cut, okay, is I can pass it, then he can shallow cut to the top. So a shallow cut dribble is just replacement dribble. It's a pressure release if you want, and it's, a, and it's, a, it's just simply a replacement dribble. That's motion offense. Now it's tough, okay, and I tell players all the time, okay, it's tough because we're trying to teach you how to think. It's a lot harder to teach people how to think than regurgitate. Okay, it's a lot harder to teach people how to think than it is, hey, here's the, here, I'm going to give you all the answers. I just need you to spit them back to me. But motion offense is so hard to guard. If you work on it, it takes a long time. And if you work on it, work on it, work on it, Okay, it's hard to guard because, again, high basketball IQ player, offensive player, whatever the defense throws at them is going to be wrong. They can use how they play their defense against the defense. 